So the collection started um, as a sort of reaction to the previous collection that we did, which was called The Healing. And The Healing was all about sort of positivity in face of crisis. And, you know, working with Tim Walker, the photographs were this real sort of like beacon of positivity. And, you know, it was really important for that to come out at the time that it did. But I think afterwards there was this kind of lull in the studio. And I think, you know, the fact that we were all kind of assuming that this would sort of come to a bit of a close, you know, this pandemic and it was still happening. And we were being told that it was going to continue to happen for months and months and months. And, you know, we had had this huge bright spark of a collection coming out and yet there was nothing that was going to change. So I just sort of felt like it was important for us to try not be inauthentic. You know, it's important to smile when things are bad, but then it's also important to actually just feel sad. And so I just thought it would be important for us to do almost like the antithesis of that collection. So the word gloom just kind of came to me and I thought that it would be really interesting for us to sort of like render a collection in something that felt very authentic to what was going on right now. So people were sort of feeling very in limbo. They were in, you know, their spaces constantly, they're very negative. And I wanted to try and render it in this weird cerebral space. So thinking about this alternative dimension potentially that would be called the gloom and it could be like a metaphor for depression or something cerebral I was thinking about things like chambers of the mind and how we could maybe express different sort of areas of the collection with different elements of sadism and stuff like that so that's where it started I think a part of it is caused by the situation that we're in something that happened very early on even before we had designs there was a sort of paragraph that existed which explained in part or an early version of what Charles saw the gloom being from a narrative point of view. At the time it was very much about what he was feeling um, and, and the sort of various dream states, be them waking dreams or actual dreams, um, that he was experiencing and kind of finding a way of creating a story around that and, and what that looked like. His process has evolved quite a lot. It went from something that was very DIY to something that was much more about his artistic practice. And that's an aspect of his own work that has evolved a lot over, over this period. And the things that he's been looking at have evolved a lot, moving from subculture. And I think it was very subculturally referenced in its early days to something that's much more artistically referenced.